and welcome to the video today we're going to be doing only the museum in hello neighbor 2 so we're going to be coming straight back to the every time we're in the museum and going through every task you need to do but just in the museum so this is the first time you come here and all we have to do for this one is run in and grab this shovel So we've arrived back now for the second time with the key. Let's head up and open the door. I'm going to put this fire extinguisher away, actually. So now we have access and the neighbors just knocking about in here at all times. And the first puzzle we're going to crack is this puzzle over here with the houses. So the first house, easy, right up there. And the next two houses are actually just inside this first room. <laughs> got the scissors, got the scissors just about. So once we got the scissors, what we need to do is just go in and cut the cobweb and get the first house. I'm not sure which one this is. Maybe this one? No, not this one. There we go. And for the last house, you just need to smash some glass. So once you've got all three houses down, that's just going to open up the safe here. We get the key. The key is to this door here. Once you come in here, we're going to need the scissors again. Have we lost that? Oh, we threw them, didn't we? We threw them. We need to go back for the scissors. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, really. Yeah, we got them. So once you've got your scissors, what you need to do is cut this open and get this lampshade. Attach it here, then you need to turn both lampshades down. And we need to pick up this heart key right here. Once you've got the key, you can then move on to the next part of the game and then come back. Oh, no. Let's go through it. And what you want to do with the key is you want to go upstairs and look for the heart door. It's behind me, I think. Yeah. Um, you just want to examine this picture here and you'll go through to the next part then and we'll come back when we're back at the museum. So we're back with the second key this time from the hunter. We're going to go up to that room now and we can sneak past the neighbor. <sighs> It's this room right here. And what we need to do for this one is get the code to a safe. And the way we get the code is by getting all the cogs for the clock. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump up here. You can see there's a finger pointing at the globe. So we need to just turn the globe around and press stop on the cross. It's going to give us the first of three cogs for the clock. To get the second one, what you need to do is tilt this light down and then pick up this dumbbell in here. Place the dumbbell on this weight. And this, th oh! All right, we're back. So once you place the dumbbell down, you want to jump on the bed and the second cog is just above the bed. And the final cog, we need to get this eagle here and we need to head to the car.
I do not have a crowbar. When you get a bit of piece in here, you want to place the eagle on the front, and that's where we get the final cog. Let's try and get out of the car here. There we go. side Don't know how he missed me there, but he did. But this is where the clock's located anyway. And once you've got all three cogs, you just want to stick them, obviously, wherever they go color-wise. Get the other ones out. Yellow. And green. This gives us a time, which is 11.35, and that's the code for the upstairs safe. So, 11.35. And this will take us to the next cutscene. We've now got the cog key. We're back for the final time. Let's finish this off. We're going to head straight upstairs to the, the room that has the cog key lock, obviously, which is over here. Oh, maybe not. Missed it. Let's go downstairs. Let's go for it. Don't need the fire extinguisher anymore. I guess we'll just leave Mr. Peterson there for the moment. What we need to do anyway is open up this and we get the wrench for the first time. to this door. Open it up. Ah! Oh, that was horrible. Anyway, once we've got a bit of peace, what you want to do is come in this room, get the book, and then go back to the room you were just in. And then you just want to place the book here. That's probably going to get Mr. Peterson up, but you can see that we have a code that we need to set in here now because these books come out and in. We need to figure out that code. So the next thing you need to do is go to the other side of the upstairs. And you can see there's a telly here. It's got three channels on it. And we need to sort out the aerial for this telly so that we can actually see the code. So if you climb here just above the... T oh, dear me. Please don't lock. So if you climb here above the telly and open up this box, you're going to get the aerial, and then we need to head to the roof. Go back to the other side of the top. And just behind here, you're going to be able to see a piece of wood that we can remove. And we're going to jump then onto the roof. Once you're on the roof, you want to come right to the other end and pull out the aerial. And then we need to tilt both these upwards. Once you've done that, head back down to the telly. Oh, 
What are the chances he's right oh. there? I think we're in the clear. So once you're back here, go to the tally and it's going to give us a code now. We have fire. Plant. Or flower and planet. So once you have the information from the TV, go back to the room with the books and put in that order. So it was fire, plant or flower and planet. So fire first which is this one here and then plant right here that's the one we found from the other room and planet is this one down here so when you do that we're going to get the first of three heads and that head obviously goes on this big bear right here next up i guess we'll go for the fish head this is a pretty easy one it's just downstairs and a little trick for you here you can actually open this door from this side as well which can actually save you from doing this whole puzzle here if you really wanted to miss it and you find the fish head just on the wall right here. Finally, we're going to go and get the boar head now. So you want to come downstairs and go behind to where the car is. And once you're in here, you're going to find a handle in this box. Attach the handle to the car. Pull the lever. And we find the what's going on with the frames and we find the boar head in the back so once you got the boar head we're gonna head for oh we got some company so once you got the boar head head back up and place it on the boar's body and we'll be done with that puzzle then Now we're able to head upside and see Aaron for the first time in his cage. What we need to do is just get the key from here. Open the lock and head inside. So once that cutscene's finished and you're stuck in this room, the first thing we need to do is find the scissors on the table here to unlock the lock. Or to give us access to the lock, should I say. And as you can see, this is actually back to front, so it would be from this side where Mr. Peterson put it in himself. So we need to get the code from back to front. And the way we do that is by looking at the blocks in the room. Each block has a number on it. You can see we have the number seven there for green. So we need to get the number seven, but obviously it has to be seven on this side. So at seven. Next up we have five, which is pink. Let's see what number it's on. Number four, maybe one more. Yeah, so you can see we have seven, five so far. Let's keep looking. I can't quite tell what that is, but I do know that the two's on here, and that's blue. So we'll put the blue two in. Can't remember which one's which for the last two, to be honest. Let's have a look, actually, what it looks like on this side. Oh, there you go. Blue two, just like that. Um, and then we got the zero on here, which looks like red, but they both kind of look red. Zero and three are the last two numbers. Let's figure it out. Um, so we'll go for... Let's see if we can get the three here. That's one. Yeah, that's three. So let's check this one for zero. Yes, there we go. So now you can see the code is 
30257. Once you've done that, you want to use your scissors to clip this area right here. And if you go back into here, you'll see there's actually a switch here. So we're going to snatch that and go back over here and open up this painting. Now we're on to the final part, really. This is the last mission, I would say. Let's open it up. And I have a really nice method for this as well. You just Oh, never mind. Oh, get out of it. Come on, there we go. You just want to jump, go down here, go un... Oh, we've been caught again. Yeah, go under here anyway, under the fireplace. And then you just want to hide right here so he doesn't see you. Otherwise, he won't come all the way close up to the area where you can snatch the spanner. Doesn't look like he's going to come by the looks of things. So we're going to make him come by standing on there. And as you can see, then we can just grab the spanner just like that. Please. There we go. Got it. Boom. Open that. So once we've done that, there's a fire on here and we need to get a extinguisher. You find the extinguisher around the back. Obviously, there's little wood pieces everywhere, so he's always hearing us as we're moving around. <laughs> Extinguish the fire, grab the key, and you do actually need a crowbar to get out of here as well. So if you don't already have your crowbar, which I actually don't, you're going to need to... Use something to smash this glass here. It's actually hard to smash from this angle, so you want to go on top to smash it. I know that's mad, but just the way it is. And once you've got the crowbar, this guy seems to be frozen. Oh. Oh, no, he's back. Once you get a free moment, which I'm not getting. Oh, no, I've been caught. So once you've taken off the word, you just and then you can just lock. leave at any moment, basically. I could just leave at any moment. He's not even watching me. This is an easy escape. I'm about to escape with the boy. And he, he's not even bothered. He's nowhere to be seen. Finally, finally he sees us. An intense escape just about getting away through the door. Exciting. And that is it. That's how you complete the museum. Only the museum bit included. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you if you were stuck. Subscribe to the channel if you like Hello Neighbor and want some more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.